Good evening and welcome to another episode of the Coach's Box. Ray Halbrook here with live stream STL. Hope everybody is inside and warm tonight. Uh, we're going to call tonight's episode the Snow Day version because all of our schools are already snowed out. So uh, there you have it. And there you are. Those are that's our Snow Day. And um, guys, the guys are all here and we're going to turn on their microphones on real quick here. Guys, how you doing? Great. How are you doing? Hey, doing? We're here. We're here. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what else is here? It's what? Oh, oh, oh. the cup's here. Oh. About time you bring it. It's about time, yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, hopefully it's not rigged this week. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do we? can we get some clear definitions on the rules <laughs> and the questions? And the questions. It's, it's like uh, the Adam Sandler, Sandler movie. I win. Yeah. Hip hop, hip hop anonymous. I'm gonna pause. What's this game called? I win. Hey, so uh, before we get started, <laughs> it's rigged. It's, it's rigged. rigged. <laughs> if you're playing into it, it's rigged at that point. Before we get started, I want to make sure I make in the announcement that uh, Waits Financial Services tonight um, was able to uh, was willing to buy our dinner for tonight yeah. for all of us hey. here on the show. So yeah, I want to say a big, big, huge shout-out to Brian Waits mm -hmm. at, from Waits Financial Services. Brian yeah. Waits. For uh, buying our dinners tonight. So yeah. yeah, he'll have a big that. golf tournament coming up yes. not too long, and I'm sure you guys – Are you going to go this time? I will, I will have to take a day off of work. I guess I can oh, do that. That's a fun day. It's a fun day. <laughs> why, why not? I'll deserve one after the season. So <laughs> there you go. There we go. Get it but, done, man. I'm, yeah, not, I'm not much of a golfer. Hey, hey right here, man. It's all for special. I'm not Olympics. much of a golfer. They'll be yeah. making fun of us. So who's the worst? <laughs> I just drive the cart. <laughs> Trust me. I'm here for comic that. relief. <laughs> I'll just ride in the cart. There you I go. won't do any driving. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's what you call it when you worm burn, oh, you know, my. eight yards. That's don't, what I do. Don't, tell, it's a scramble. don't tell people that's that. Don't tell people that. Use, we're going to use your ball or your ball or your ball. <laughs> your ball. Nice. If, I, if I get lucky and hit a couple of them that we use, I feel pretty good about myself. And here's the best part, Jay. The only ball we ever use from yours is the putting one. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> here's the thing. Man. You have to take – I take a bunch of practice balls and anything I can find, and my goal – is to walk out with more golf balls than I started. That is true. He has <laughs> a that big is that is my point there. Yes. That is, he takes uh, three holes off and goes and walks all the woods no, around. I <laughs> no, I don't take any holes off. I just walk. I just if I see one that's in the woods because I'm obviously looking for mine. It's I'm looking for one. I see two. I pick two up. That's plus one. I would definitely do that. That's and that's what you got to do. I don't buy any golf balls. I bought these top flight and all these high. No, 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 no. Here, I'm going to get this pink one right here because I might be able to see it. <laughs> and I'm going to use that one. I don't know do, if it's do, a real ball I can use. you hit from the pink box, too? I should. <laughs> I hit from the women's tee. Probably, no, it still wouldn't help. Now, right. McVeigh over here, McVeigh, he has this mad, like, uh, Happy Gilmore drive. <laughs> yeah, look at you. He's all modest and everything. Does, he, like, have oh, one, yeah. does he have a big Bertha club about like this? <laughs> this or, uh, regular he's, lefty golf club. I can say, yeah. He's lefty. 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 weird lefty He's swing. the bogey golfer over here. He's I mean, bogey golfer. Yeah, hey, great. use yours on the drive for sure. You hit it a mile. I don't know what your well, short game is tells like. you anything, last time I played golf, I was employed by Crystal City. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. well, hold on. How many probably, stops along there, the way? That was probably when I was subbing for him. Carry the one. <laughs> Carry the one. I don't know how many years that's been. Oh. How many it's stops been, are on the way there? Uh, yeah. mm. At the end of this Connect year, the it'll be 21 years in. So. Man. Well, nice. he, was, he was there 10, right? Yes, I was. Wow. Like so 11 years ago, he started Last time he picked up a golf club. Well, no, I mean he's I'd moved work, some. I'd worked some places. <laughs> I worked two places before Crystal. <laughs> so you know, Perryville, Farmington, Crystal. Okay. Then well, I, then I jumped right. around. Then it was Kingston. <laughs> then Potosi. Well, you worked at Kingston and then too. Normandy. Yeah, that was Normandy. And I remember that. Then Normandy one. But I hopefully, know I Kingston. found my last place of employment. There you go. <laughs> I, we hope so. Yeah, I hope sure hope so. so. Absolutely. But why not? You know, I was looking for a job when I got this one. <laughs> but, hey, that's a huge uh, – so I just want to give another big yeah. shout-out to Brian. Thanks for that. Thank uh, you, Brian. He's there the golfer. And he also hey, said, he's yes. the he said you're welcome, player. fellas. Have a great show. Yep. Well, I don't know about the great yeah. show, but thank you, Brian, because we're – you know how we are. Yeah, I, I think of him every month when I make my <laughs> – Insurance payment. <laughs> My life insurance payment, which he uh, called me a long time ago to redo something. I never called him back. Did so I'll, I'll get Terrell her. I want I'll, you to up your life insurance policy. I need to get more on her. <laughs> yep. See, she's, 
<laughs> Gabby Giannis. obviously agrees. <laughs> all right, so uh, moving into the other part of our jobs. Um, so we're all here, and um, not a lot of games been played last couple nights. No. Yeah. Um, I mean, much. in the city they're playing. Yeah, in the city uh, they're finally playing. We're not playing <laughs> down here. That's such a weird thing. Yeah, I saw that. I was I, looking at that. I, up. I mean, this is the worst part. Of, this is the worst part of having basketball at this time of year is Ooh. snow. Agreed. We were uh, very blessed to not say. have snow issues mm-hmm. all the way up well, until. Me and Blair were on a little three-way uh, phone call today uh, with our AD, and I said, this is me and Coach Gilman's fault. We were bragging about how we are going to get 18-2 <laughs> in this year. We beat COVID, and then Mother Nature just came in. and <laughs> there was another word that was going to happen. <laughs> I did, too. We I was ready today. with the bleeper button. Yeah. I was wow. ready. I was ready. <laughs> Mother Nature. Nature. <laughs> Mother Nature, <laughs> being the woman that she is, uh, come in and oh, hey. said, oh, wow. show, show you basketball gods. <laughs> I'll tell you what, she's you know. going gonna to roll her head again next week, too, yeah. looks like. So. Yeah. Just, uh, uh, she, week, too. She's definitely cold, I'm telling yeah. you right now, because mm. it, is, it is not She's yeah. cold-hearted, that's Yeah, for it's, sure. not, it's not warm outside, so Man. keep throwing the salt out there. It ain't melting. No, it doesn't do no <laughs> It ain't that. melting at all. You're just, you're just pushing the ice from one side to the other. It ain't going nowhere. Nope. And so right she's, now. She's a little cold-hearted. We've lost two games this week. We're supposed, we were supposed to play. Hang on. We were supposed to play Windsor on Monday, and tonight no. we were supposed to have played Bayless. Both uh, of those are canceled with no. Oh boy, uh, Justin Ford's all over it. When is Ford allowed back? Well, hey, wait, wait, are we yeah. going to play our game tomorrow, Ford? That's what I got to know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I hear we're probably if not. You're, if you're going to play that game tomorrow, play you can be on the tomorrow, show. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so yeah, so back to what we're. So I've already lost two. I got to play R seven. Friday on Friday. Want to want to play them? Want to get that one in for sure? Well, we haven't touched a basketball since Friday. <laughs> say, yeah, like we played Friday against Grammy and won. And then I was like, man, we had four games last week. I'm like, guys, you got the weekend off. I'll see you Monday. And then, well, nope. that, that uh, have, have a good weekend. Hey, have a good weekend. Wait, oh. we're dismissing <laughs> half a day. Hey. So we were supposed to play yeah. St. Vincent Tuesday, and then uh, Blair was supposed to play on Monday. So then we rescheduled it for a, what, quadruple hitter on Tuesday? It's supposed to be on Tuesday. And then, and then now it's going to be on Saturday. Hopefully, and we're playing Crystal on Friday, so we're gonna have to play back to back days conference games. Mm-hmm. Nice, and hey. I mean it's not gonna be easy. You got I got nope. Crystal City and <laughs> got a little Tullet kid running around scoring points all over the place, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna have to go down to St. Vincent at St. Vincent. You know where that's at. What county? <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about that. Well, that's oh, all about first. Uh, I figured you all were going to say oh, wait, Perry wait. County. <laughs> you know yes. what you do? You, you can just hold the ball. We definitely are going to be a Perry County. Oh. Ooh. Speaking of holding the ball. I can't hold the ball like Northwest did. I mean, bless Moss. I don't yeah. know how he did it, but I couldn't do it. You know anybody else that did it? Well, I know. Maybe at a, a certain school um, yeah. just maybe a little east of Hillsboro. In between Hillsboro and DeSoto south, on the south, I guess. Southwest. southwest. Yeah, yeah, against Granby. Yeah, I did it. Maybe. Besides <laughs> what you're hitting at. I'm yeah. just going to say. I may have. Now, what watching. you did was a little different than what Northwest did. Northwest just started off with the game. It's like, hey, guys, here what we're doing. We're just going to sit here and hold the ball. That's right. I will say this. It would be very difficult to do that with the Wivenmeyer kid on the front of that 1-3-1. Mm. One, one. He's tough. Yeah, they beat us by 11 the first time, and he was watch. flying around. So, um, I'm, hoping, uh, I'm hoping we can uh, – Maybe do a little damage. By the way, did we ever address that particular situation about holding the ball with that particular game? We did. I think that was the. Did, uh, did we was, have? Did we have shows. like our thoughts on that? We did. He yeah. wasn't here that night. Yeah. Oh, well, I let's get your thoughts on that, Coach Jarvis. On the Northwest game, yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, Wait who's for thought, it. <laughs> what thoughts do you want? I mean, like, uh oh. If I'm Jason, that, we want your unfiltered. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's go, Jarvis unfiltered then. Uh, oh, shoot. legacy! Oh, mother! Is nature. one of the most athletic. Mother one nature. of the most athletic teams around. Why are you sitting there in a zone, letting Northwest hold the ball at half court? Stupidest thing I've ever Wait, seen. Wait, I gotta say this. I'm gonna be devil's advocate for a second. Maybe they couldn't communicate man to man quick enough because they don't no, no, spoke English. <laughs> Oh okay, well, I heard them all talking to each other, so they understood each other. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> uh, they didn't speak English. They're like, my kids go, hey, where are you from? And they're just like, key. Like, what, what's key? Key. And they started speaking. He's like, yeah, I had no it. idea. 
That's I, not you, a, usually and, I just like to then, get to know the kid, you know. That's not it. And no, hey, Coach, I didn't understand and what then, he said. I like, mean, yeah, I understood happens. what Moss was doing. <laughs> I did. I understood what Northwest was doing. They thought maybe we shorten this game. It's the only way we have to win. But keep it wow. Close. I don't know. Uh, after I don't know that I could have held the ball for two quarters. It was zero to zero. After the, at the, the end, end of the first quarter, first quarter that's, I wonder if that's four a record. Two at the end of the you second. Know what? That's and that is why when you fill out that <laughs> NFHS thing, that there is a question about shot clock, several questions. There's about always shot clock. a question about shot clock. And, yes. again, I, I can get on It's the coming tangent. at some point. Yeah. Oh, okay. As soon as they consolidate gonna, all the schools say, in Missouri. Yeah. Right. That ain't happening. Yeah, they, I would say that. Right. They ain't happening. trying to do yeah. that for yeah. You want to know years. what's holding that whole thing back? Money. Money. Oh, I know. Money. There ain't no money. Just saying. Yeah. We'll see. Mm-hmm. It's not happening. We'll see. Well, I mean, I, I just – I don't know. What do you say to your kids when you're just sitting there holding the ball like that? Well, now? we're going to try to shorten the game. Trying to win. He's going to – Mama say, hey, you want a chance to win tonight? Exactly. Yeah, do you it. see what they hey. did to St. Pius, who's a dummy for playing? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> they did, we're not doing that. I'm going to say, hey, we're going to win. Mm-hmm. Don't be stupid. You want a hey. chance to win? Here we go. Okay, mm-hmm. so when you're down – they were down like 15, still holding the ball. No, yes. They were all, they yes, were, they were, were. Yes, they Second were. Second half, not so much, but I mean, you know, they. Oh, they were down yeah. and still holding the ball. Yeah, I mean, I mean, final, they only I lost by eleven. I mean, you'd think you know? that you said if you'd have told me that that team would have only lost by eleven with against that team at the beginning of the night, I would have said you're insane. But I, the way Northwest have been playing oh, in that whole tournament, I thought they'd been playing well enough There's that half. why not go out and give a shot. Zero. I don't think they have been playing well. I don't. Know, I don't think that. I don't think that uh, they had a chance to to beat their size inside. But I. I also don't believe that their athletic ability in the backcourt would have um, <laughs> held out as far as that goes. But I you mean, you hold maybe. it for so long. But after after it got to where they were down ten, they were down twelve. Mm-hmm. You're down. You know, you gotta you gotta go after it. You gotta try to. You gotta try to win. Well, hey, it wasn't it wasn't the record for fewest points. And a half, that was zero. zero. <laughs> the wow. score was one to nothing. Wow. It was five wow. to four. I know. It's still, it half. doesn't. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm just No, I'm just looking it up. I just, <laughs> while we were talking about it, I go, you know, I haven't looked that up yet. It has to be the record for the lowest points in a quarter. No. Because there was no score. I know. It was well, tied. It tied. I'm tied gonna, it, I'm going to tell you, if I was Legacy, I wouldn't have sat in a zone. I wouldn't have. Either. And I run a lot of zone. Yes, and you do. I, and I, no. I, and no, I ran man against you almost the whole second half of the third quarter and all the whole fourth quarter. Yeah. My question is, why not go? Why not throw one of your your guards up there, foul the kid, make sure that you, that uh, you know. Th- then they got to inbound it, and then they got to play man to man at that point. I would have not let that entire. They had to have talked. They had to have talked with the communicator. The game well, but but I'm talking about the coaches. The coaches oh, no. had to have talked. No, no way. No, no. no way. Oh, no. I think no. they did. No. no, no. Moss did not no. tell him he was going to do that. No way. Why would he tell him? I don't that? think he would have. Nope. Listen, I'm going to hold the ball. But, but, but don't you guys come don't, out and get us. But you guys don't talk when there when there's a you know a kid's getting ready to get their thousand point or well that's different. Yeah, that's, that's this, different. But I it's didn't the tell, same. I didn't tell him I was going to run man for an entire quarter and a half. I just hey, have, but it's the same. How tell him I was going to tell him to shut up. <laughs> so I told him, hey, let's I'm really shut be up. truthful. It said, shut the hell up. Is what he said. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, I would never hey, use that wow. kind of language. That is what he said towards me. Wow. Wow. On the sideline in front of God and everyone. Was this, was this pre or post Oh, this is during the game. It was before uh, technical. Okay, okay. Whoa. Pre or post? Yes, it was. Hulk smash. <laughs> It was, it was, it was, a, hey, it was after warning. Okay, after but before <laughs> technical. Yeah. It was fun so though. His, his, fun. his feathers were rough. I was laughing hysterically was, sitting up there. I was oh, very happy. So was I when oh, the ref I when the ref came in front of me. I said, "Are you really going to let him get away with that?" And I, he did. I, I'm like, uh, "Really?" And because he's less I of a man, obviously he I let said, me do it. I said, "If that was me, if that was Blair, me, I'd have been Blair. Too. Blair, can we can we talk about a, a topic now?" <laughs> What's up? What do you want to talk about? I said, can we get on a topic? I don't yeah, know. I'm just <laughs> saying. So, anyway, we we're, were losing a lot of games because of weather. Uh, Where did this go? Well, I don't like know. Down off the rails. Hey, ADD. Went down a rabbit. Like, we yeah. gone. Where's Jim <laughs> Powers when you need him? You want to say where we're all at? Uh, Jim, Powers, Jim Powers, by the way, is in a boot. Yes, he is. Uh, what he do you do? He, uh, he, he, he broke his, somebody out? No, he broke his foot. The weirdest thing. He broke his foot. I'm not sure if it was going into his office or it was it was over at uh, at, <laughs> at um, where where where's he, where's he work at Maryville Maryville, Maryville. over at Maryville um, he stepped on a, a doorstop 
Boy, yeah. He stepped on a doorstop and, and bro- b- broke his foot. I don't know how he did it, but he broke his foot. I talked to him the other day, and I said, hey, how's it going? He goes, he sends me a picture of his foot in a boot. And I'm like, what did you do? And he goes, broke it. Richard, and he told me you? He told me the whole thing. That was great. Man, so I don't I was, know that I'd you know, tell many people that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would do it either. So, so we're, we're going to have him uh, down for a couple of games, possibly. Awesome. Because he's got go. nothing else to do. So well, speaking of technical fouls, did we watch the college basketball man. game last night with Texas? Yeah, I Texas didn't watch it. And but I already was sitting there or something. He did. He threw a tantrum. Oh, it, it was, was hilarious. A, it, was a it was a good tantrum. tantrum. I'm not sure why I got tagged in this by several people who work for <laughs> Livestream. Because <laughs> I didn't throw a tantrum like that. He got ejected. Who'd that you get that fun. from? It wasn't from me. <laughs> it, Jeff, <laughs> Scott, both. I mean, I mean I, really Jeff would have been my first. Yeah. It was Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say, you know? <laughs> what? If the boot fits. I, obviously, <laughs> I have <laughs> never been ejected from a game, as I explained to them. Hey, yeah. Blair, <laughs> can you answer that hey. question? <laughs> hey. Out of all of us here, who's been ejected from a game? A JV game. <laughs> Doesn't matter. JV wow. Game. Uh, he's a summer league game. Uh, <laughs> down at but l- let me tell you, let me tell you, <laughs> yeah, watching, watching that Texas Tech game last night <laughs> made me laugh a lot. But that was that was priceless. I mean, that just this, just watching his tantics and and just watching him respond, and then all the players and even he just Bob Huggins down. was like. He just sat out. Thought he <laughs> thought it was, thought it was the greatest thing ever. He, like he but was he, like he had to give the uh, fist bump. Hey, coach, yeah, you know, hey, fist right, bump to Huggy Bear. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't, I didn't see it. Oh man, uh, hey, when he fist bumped Huggy Bear, that made it all. Perfect. Oh, you got to watch it. <laughs> he he got his it. he wait. He got his money's he, worth. It, yes. Can you find yeah. that thing on uh, <laughs> social media? And bring <laughs> I don't it up can you bring it up? We might break Facebook jail. We might break Facebook protocol. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh man, Charles Underwood says, "Oh Miller, I can see you doing this." <laughs> I will have to say yes, I, Charles. Charles, Charles, Charles is go. exactly there correct go. there. <laughs> it, number one, it depends on who we're playing in the next game. That's number one. <laughs> Two, Street I don't have enough Vaseline to pull that one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, I knew the Vaseline. I love Charles. The petroleum uh, jelly, I knew it was coming. Uh, I had to ask Charles. I said, listen, if I slap the floor, would you tee me up? He goes, yeah, I tee you. <laughs> <laughs> See? You yeah, deserved fair. it. Uh, I didn't say I didn't. I me. never said I didn't deserve it. You deserved it when you told me to shut the hell up. You couldn't have talked to me like that. I, I, I thought we were friends. <laughs> I thought we did a show together. Uh, All those weeks spent nothing. Uh, <laughs> I so. was literally hysterically <laughs> laughing. See how this stand. always comes back to this. Oh. Right, since everything comes uh-huh. back to But it. now uh-huh. Charles says Riley could possibly throw oh, one. I, I, would, uh, I can see uh, that uh, happening. Uh, I His is that. more of a – he's always stomping that foot. Oh, stomping that there's foot. There's a lot of there's a lot of drama that what? plays out because it's aren't called, you in drama? It's called acting. Yeah. Oh, it's called oh acting. my for, any, for all of our officials who are watching, I have, yes, I, I he have is a, the actor out of all of us. I, I went to college on a theater – Scholarship, <laughs> yes, best. that is correct. I'm a that thespian. The I'm a thespian. thespian. Yeah, so there was thespian. nothing athletic about it. He was a thespian. <laughs> I, I, thespian. No, I'm not going to say I was just a thespian. Was thespian part of his sounds a lot like hey, not. It was part of his routine. Athletics. Hey, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> sounds very non-athletic. No one, not one person knew that, <laughs> that you until were I <laughs> made it in, live on live stream STL. You know what? It's something about girls' coaches because I know Ken Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to kill me for this. Oh, please. He'll just, oh, just throw it away for it. Throwing people on it. He don't minute. watch this show. Hold, hold, on, on, hold on a minute. Ken Jones is on the phone uh, right now. <laughs> I know that dude can sing being. and play the piano and he all can. kinds of stuff. He may not that. admit that. But he is very thespian like, or thes- whatever you said. Hey. <laughs> now, there's one thing that I know about Ken Jones that you guys probably not know. He is a huge fan of the Goonies. The Goonies. Oh, yeah. He loves yes, the Goonies. He loves the Goonies. Mm. So, uh, He's a guy. Well, that's a that's an age that that's mm. right around my time was the yep. Goonies too. That's an my age thing. Sorry, goonies. sorry, Coach Jones. He's calling you out right now. It's an age thing. No, I'm calling him out because he could have majored in theater probably too. That's all I was saying. <laughs> I. When, when did you have. decide that you couldn't act, or did they decide for you? I, I just decided I didn't want to do it anymore. Oh. 
Oh, oh, okay. Paid for my first two years of college. 100% paid for. There you go. Totally See, not what? on the subject, but I wore my St. Louis gear and my Molina hat. Yep. There Why? Oh, oh, I mean, we have signed Molina. Oh, we, did he? I didn't even see And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was super hating the Cardinals the last year or so. <laughs> I mean, and then they let Wong go, and now they did some things, and I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. Now we'll see if the wallet will open it up anymore. But no. I – his wallet will be yeah. shut for a year. I, I think years. that I think that was like the window is now closed. Oh, that's a good question. Charles is asking how. What do you guys think about the district format? Well, I, I'm Let's not go. opposed. Let's hit it. I'm not opposed to it at all. I think it makes more sense that the higher C gets to host the first round game and the second second round game. But as far as the uh, district championship game, I think that that needs to be neutral at a neutral site. Um, moving forward across the board anyway, I think it makes more sense. Uh, well, isn't it going to be at a neutral site the way it's set up? Well, well our, no, our no, district, every hosting. district, depending on well, the, how they do hosting. it. Well, the way I think ours is going to be set up, it's going to be. Well, we all voted on it. So each district's going to would be able to vote how they wanted to do it. They could have done it where the higher seed hosted, or they could have pre took picked a predetermined place to do it at, or what we are doing as well as. We have three spots, and then hoping that one of those three spots will not be in – two of those three will not be in the final. So, like, so you have a chance to play. I, I'm predicting place. that Potosi might be the third seed and will be the sixth seed in mine. So then we will travel to Potosi and play if that's the way it comes out. I mean, I've seen things voted completely different like the Bruce Thomas tournament. But So, you know, you never yeah. know. So, I mean, we beat the – Two seed and then played the one seed. That was the weirdest tournament seeding ever. But well, I, I think it's I like the format. I, I like it. I, I think I, I it think, gives I, you I an advantage to be a higher seed. I think it. Well, it rewards the teams that have won. It, it it definitely does. It gets you one more home game. Gets you one more opportunity to play at home. Uh, and then I think yeah. it move on to the sectionals. If you hosted from my from my gathered, if you hosted a district championship game, you you're not allowed sectionals. a sectional game. Hmm. So. I think a lot of the schools now have realized that, and if they are, they are the the year the host, you know, the sectional game, and they host the district final, they can't not do it. Automatically goes to their team unless so, they, if both teams hosted, then I think it goes off of some kind of whatever year it is, like a three or four or whatever. So, uh, uh, so what you're saying is hypothetically, like say Park Hills was to win our district. Mm-hmm. They can host a sectional game if they didn't host the district championship. Right? That is correct. What, yeah. That mm-hmm. is correct. And this yeah. year, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it is uh, even years, even districts to host. I don't know. I think it's the even years. I don't remember. districts. So that would be the case. I knew was. I wasn't going to host, so I wasn't too worried about it. I mean, I, I've it, always said this in a non COVID year, and I know logistically it, it's tough to do, but I've always thought that. In my opinion, you should start with the last seed and saying, hey, to take away a home, I don't want to say home field or home court advantage, say, hey, the, the last seed, would you like to host districts? No, you don't. And then the next one and the next one. And then start from there. Because in all honesty, there is an advantage. You know, you're that one seed, you're that two seed, and you're always playing on your home court. I mean, heck, you play 30 games at home every year, you know. So, I mean, you, you know exactly what You can't say that it. over here. <laughs> also, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you can't say that about me. No, I'm talking about Blair. But I I, I've sure always am. thought – I've always I've played one, two, three, four, five. I think I've played seven home games. That includes the three in the tournament? Yes. So, I don't – What the hell is the matter with your schedule? Well, because of COVID and oh, because yeah, I, COVID. Lost yeah, yeah, of, COVID. I lost a bunch of – I lost a bunch of home games and mm-hmm. the teams I picked up mm-hmm. had to have home games. So, it was kind of like – I'm going mm-hmm. to Scott City. I'm going to Bismarck. I'm going to Valley Park. I'm mm-hmm. going. I mean, it's yeah. I don't have very many home games. Period. Fair point. Yeah. But I, I like that idea. Heck, I was I, the weight coach. team in all the home teams. <laughs> well, that's true. And I and I, I think the big thing about Something that about is that bench is that like gives a better. lot of gives a lot of those teams another opportunity mm-hmm. maybe to play a, another game where. Mm-hmm. It, well, but if you're looking let's, at that, let's think about it. In all honesty, you get a one-eight matchup. And we've seen these types of scores where it's eighty to two or ninety to ten. You're going to make this team go travel to go lose ninety to ten. Come on, just let them have a home game. Yeah. And and I don't know. At least I now I understand logistically that's tough. And but maybe you don't have to worry about that no more. 
Well, there's no one eight game no more. Nope. Yeah, one, nope. Nobody. Six. You know, one through six, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's all you got to worry about. It's like being a big school now. Coach Winkler over there says he likes that, Coach McVeigh. Hey, 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 thanks, Coach. Hey, Coach, Coach always watches our show. I, I found that out this week in talking to him yeah. that uh, he's so a it. very avid uh, yeah. supporter really? of the coach's mm-hmm. box. Mm-hmm. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, watch, doesn't That's tell good. anybody. <laughs> he keeps it pretty quiet, but yeah. tonight he commented, so hey, we now hey. I know. Well, we had, we're, we up had to, situa- we're up to 12 people who watch the show <laughs> <laughs> besides us right. five. We yeah, had a situation I'm, I'm where he, um, he, he actually texted me this week about rescheduling a game, and I'm like, I appreciate you letting me know about that. Unfortunately, we had to we had to bump the game. I think it was because we were going to go over to uh, uh, do Pius Windsor, a little bit better matchup and stuff. At, at this point, we're doing flex schedules. You know, oh, yeah, at you this have point, to. so you have it's, to. It's, um, it it kind of is. You don't know what's going to happen going you know, forward. Is what it is. So. I, I think the district schedule. Just to to, to wrap a, wrap this up and put a little bow on it. I think um, for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For you, what? Wow! Put a little bow on it. Put a little bow. On it. What's wrong with putting a bow on it? You'll wrap your presents with a little bow on it. No, I'm like the world's worst Christmas wrappers. Trust me, I got to put a bow on it, make it look pretty. Cover up all the other <laughs> all the tape pieces. <laughs> yeah, I don't fold very well. This is it's it's an ongoing joke. Off the rails, going back on. So I I, I really I, I mean I kind of like it. I know that it doesn't really favor the lower seeds, but mm-hmm. at the same time, we only have six right around six, maybe seven in some districts. It, it's not. It's one. not that big. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it really isn't. Yeah, we're one. Mm-hmm. Guy County Central girls, mm-hmm. and it's. It, it is what it is. I, I don't mind playing in the neutral site, per se, or it is a neutral site. I think if um, I think if all goes the way it's supposed to, our district, Bishop DeBerg's the host. So if we we're fortunate enough to be a higher seed, I don't know if we will or not, but we could possibly host. We could possibly go and play on the road. But I think the district championship game is going to be played at Bishop of Berg. Mm-hmm. At least it's in St. Louis City, technically, so I don't have to wear masks. Yay. No. I <laughs> Do read, we? I read my – In the city? I don't think so. No, they, I think Mitch just said that they're leaving that up to – if uh, if I, I, I may could be this wrong. I could have read this wrong. But I think Mitch just said that if a, if a district is hosted in the city or the county – that they're not going to require a team that's outside of the city or county to do that. Now, I could be mistakenly wrong on that, so don't quote me. But, it, but. I do also know that they have to be able to f- to, to field certain capacity mm-hmm. and everything. Minimum so of 60, 100, you know. So a, if, it's a, if it's in a place where they can't host or can't have fans, then they wouldn't be able to do it. So, mm-hmm. uh, But like I said, it's in the city. It's not in St. Louis County, so Dr. Page doesn't have his greasy fingers on it and Oh yeah, but, but hey, that, tomorrow they open up uh, the fifty percent, fifty percent on the restaurants. That's exciting for them. Yeah, it won't be about time. So by next Thursday, you mean there'll be fifty percent for all? So act. maybe by, the time uh, by I next play, Thursday, it so might be back to twenty five percent. Maybe by the time you I play know. Valley Park, it will be lit. Some stuff will be so lit. We can have some fans in the stands. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> well, we were talking about Cardinals, and all of a sudden it got changed real yeah, quick. Thanks, thanks, Charles Underwood. That's okay. Hey, it was good. He has another question. He has too. another question. Oh, he has too. Wow. Sure enough. Man. What's your take on running the clock in the third quarter if a team is up by yes. thirty instead yes. of the yes. fourth quarter? Do it. Yep. Do yeah, it. Why think, not? I think it's a smart yes. move. I, I mean, why you not? eliminate those eighty to ten games, yeah. ninety to ten games. Let's mm-hmm. just get out of here and go home. Yep. Safety. Kids don't get hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why not? Mm-hmm. I agree. Just mm-hmm. let the clock run. Even if you get it under thirty, the clock still runs. Right. So it is in Illinois, yeah, fourth quarter. Even it if is. you get it under? Move it. Yep. Wow. You should go turbo. So no, you don't stop. No don't matter stop. what. If you go so you really have to have a comeback. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's a real comeback then. It won't happen. It's not one of these fake comebacks from Missouri. And that's why I like the idea of the, the concept of <laughs> – right. I heard that, buddy. Uh, <laughs> but I like the idea, the concept of that, because mm-hmm. it takes away, um, you know, the possibility of – well, I just pressed because you never know in the game of basketball, the three-point line could cost you, no. you know, could keep okay. the game close. Oh, I'm glad you brought gosh. this up. Oh, here we go. So Carolyn's gone, so it's okay. Go. So you're, you're up, right? Mm-hmm. I'm up. Say I'm up. Oh, no. Just, I'm oh, not, I know where this is I, going. Maybe <laughs> say I'm up. <laughs> I do, too. All right. This is all hypothetical, right? All, all hypothetical. hypothetical. All hypothetical. I'm up. Team hasn't pressed me all game, right? Oh, shoot. Put in my subs. Put in my subs. Like, we're talking freshmen in the game, sophomores, mm-hmm. you know, the, the, the guys that don't play much. Okay. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, team starts pressing me. 
we turn it over five or six <laughs> times. And then you get mad because I put the starters back he's in. He's pretty angry for this being hypothetical. Yep. He's an angry old. It's hot. It's an angry <laughs> hypothetical. <laughs> Time out tirade right, nice right here. About right? It. Yeah. Well, oh, well, I'm just saying. So, yeah. I mean, there's the problem. You know, you try mm-hmm. to do that. <laughs> and I, if I'm down 30, mm-hmm. I'm not pressing. Mm-hmm. No. I agree. I, I, here, here's if you the haven't thing. been pressing. Here's what, you know, I think we've all talked about this outside off the show as far as just having a conversation. Uh, you know, the big thing about this is, uh, you know. It was all hypothetical. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I, we've had this Absolutely. conversation Truly. in the past. I mean, me and you have, me and you have. I know that you and him have had this conversation because you're a big avid f- supporter of, of the running clock in the third mm-hmm. quarter just simply for the fact that it doesn't demoralize a kid's mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. When they're getting beat 90 well, to 10. Well, I can tell you a couple times I've been down at Christmas tournament Park Hills mm-hmm. and I'm sitting there coming back after halftime wishing that clock mm-hmm. was running a couple times. You yeah. know, it's like we're yeah. down 40. Well, mm-hmm. yes, yes. And I, I so I, my biggest my biggest thing of thought process on that, Coach, is if you couldn't press the starters, why were you pressing the other ones if, if it wasn't to – benefit your kids and that's kind of the concept that try to make think, the score look good yes and so where 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 do you draw that line as far as well i tell you it would, draws the line you that's don't press the subs yeah, yeah. okay let's just get out there i'm not tiptoeing around this if i if i concede if i'm up and i put my subs in or if i'm down well let me be clear here <laughs> if up or down doesn't matter i put my subs in i look down in there i'm going okay we're done I mean, I'm getting other kids playing time. It's a 30-30 group. But, but so let me hang on, let me finish my tirade uh, right now. No, we got I'm going to put them in there. Hypothetically. Uh-oh. I'm going to put them in there, and you turn around and press my subs. I'm going to say something to you. You don't do it. It doesn't matter. It's not about looks, this, that, or the other. Don't press the subs. What if your subs are pressing – oh, his subs are pressing your subs. What's the difference? No. No? It, it, okay. it, at that point, it's over. All right. It is over. Both. It, it's over. It doesn't matter. It's like, okay, well then here, let me press you again with my subs because, well, we've got to get these guys ready so that way they can play. And if you if I did that, you'd be pissed. Sure you'd you be would. pissed off at me. You'd be sure like, you would. coach, is that enough yet? Are you going to keep pressing them? Do I got to hand you the ball every time, every, t- every take it out? It's what would happen. Well, so all I- of a sudden you press my kids. It, why? Why? So you can feel better about yourself? So you can go and be like, hey, guys, at least we got it close. That's BS. I agree. That's stupid. Agree. You don't do that. But it, it, it's, it's an unwritten rule. It should, it, it should just be something that you should have enough common sense to know better. Man, because I lit it. I lit the fire, baby. There's, there's, but you know what? Though, no. as, as, no. I, as I'm seeing more and more and, and being in coaching longer and longer and seeing things unfold on a daily basis, that word or that phrase of common sense, it doesn't exist. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't exist. No. Well, I just mean, like doing your job. Well, I, 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 sat, I sat at one of our oh, tournaments yeah. this year, what you're saying, mm-hmm. common sense, and mm-hmm. I watched a team press someone up until 13 seconds left in the mm-hmm. game, and they were up 40. Mm-hmm. And why? I mean, and he, he knows. That's why he's got it fired up. Mm-hmm. And I sat there and was like, I even said it. I'm not even in this game. I just, mm-hmm. neither, neither one of these are my teams. Mm-hmm. Nothing. And I'm like, dude, yes. hey. Mm-hmm. They can't get past half court. You can pull the press off, bro. Mm-hmm. Ain't doing your kids no mm-hmm. good. Well, I had this same conversation, you know, even at a, at, a, at the lower levels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and, <laughs> and I, ha- I had a big about. issue with this problem with, you know, because at what point does pressing and shooting layups mm-hmm. at the lo- younger levels mm-hmm. develop those kids into better basketball players down mm-hmm. the road? And you do that at practice. You see a lot of those. Yeah. You see a lot of – these teams that are got the athletes yep. at in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade or whatever, mm-hmm. and they're beating teams, you know, forty-two to mm-hmm. six in these games, right. and they're only shooting layups mm-hmm. when they play somebody that's competitive. Well, back to back to half court, they can't handle it. Well, back no, to back no, to half court. or what, what happens? And we've t- we've talked about this Doesn't over matter. the years. So two layups. or three kids move. Two or three kids have to work. Mm-hmm. Two or three kids decide I don't, I, don't, I want to do some other sport or some other activity. And so that team that you had in junior high is no longer the team that, that we that we would get as head coaches. Right. And then, once again, you know, what goes around comes around, and then you're yep. thinking, well, hmm. and, and, you know, I'll, I'll add to it, that. and I'll add to what you're talking about. 
leaving a starter in, leaving a starter in when when it is a running clock, or leaving starters multiple to try and get their point totals up, or to try and you know do this, that, and the other. And I'll and and I know we always talk about not wanting to, not wanting to talk about our kids or whatnot. But I'll I'll use Laney last week as an example. She got she got her thousandth point in the third quarter. We were up. She. It was like two minutes left, or about maybe a buck thirty. She came out. Charles can attest to this if he's still watching. We, I he took is. her out third quarter. She didn't play the rest of the game. Mm-hmm. There's no point. We, we were up. You know, other kids got in, and but I've seen it, and that's how that's how you get a lot of these kids to score three thousand points or you know twenty five hundred three thousand or break state records because they're in the ball game up ninety to ten, mm-hmm. still scoring. Layups. I mean, you've heard about that all the time. Well, and I'm I'm going to say, same tournament, same team, played another team, <laughs> and lost worse than what made my day. Yeah, it made, it made a lot of coaches happy. But uh, <laughs> and the other team wasn't pressing them. They pulled it back and was half court and still beat them eighty something. To, Here, here's to, my fun question: If you press a team and you're trapping, and you say, okay, hey. I'm not pressed anymore. We're just going to play full court man to man. And your kids are already just giving the ball away like they're just dribbling it and any kind of pressure mm-hmm. standing close, which mm-hmm. is obviously, in my opinion, is a little pressure. Mm-hmm. Do, it's still is that pressing. pressing? Yes. yes is right. that pre- I'm still loud enough. In the, Everybody can hear it. Yeah. Oh, it's hear still it. in the full court. Yes. It's still so, yeah, pressing. thanks. I just want to be clear about yeah. that because I don't think I, I think that's the case too. That's how I feel about it. Well, and, I, fine. and we had this conversation, and it was. And I watched it, and they <laughs> pulled it off, and it was still – I mean, it was – the the other team played that bad that it was still – and they, they were pulling it out and setting up and running their mm-hmm. offense, and still mm-hmm. it ended up being that bad. Well, and that's where if the running clock was in mm-hmm. effect right when that half started, I mean, it would have been fine. It I could, think it would have been a lot better. Maybe not at 30 – it, for the start of the third quarter, maybe 35. Yeah, just like football. Well, just I, like football. I mean, I, that's I, what I was say. thinking football. I say if it's 35, but then if once it, that hits the 35 mark, it running clock the rest of the game. Sure. No, if they get under 35, it stops it. I think it's 100%. When the game gets over 35, the clock doesn't stop until the end of the game. Mm-hmm. Because I think you're that not coming back, you're not coming back. They're, you're already they're, down. Yes. You're not coming back. Yes. So there's, I, I that takes you. away from you. that concept as well. Right. And I think right. that makes that's kind of what the state of Illinois does. And I know you mm-hmm. mentioned that a minute ago, but I think it it just takes oh, away from that concept so of I know you guys <laughs> give me crap about <laughs> Illinois. But Illinois are they even playing basketball? Yes, they are. Oh, finally, finally. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yes, they are. Very different scenarios over there, for sure. They have sure. to wear two masks, though. Oh, well, that's coming everywhere. <laughs> now they're getting the kids to move in from Missouri to play <laughs> the second season. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh. And Blair wasn't even talking this time. Uh-oh. I don't know. But you know what? I think that's a great point, and I think it's a good question that uh, I think a lot of coaches um, need to be coached I just on. don't know why. We know there's unwritten rules. We know. Right? Do, or, or are we saying we don't know? Either. Apparently we don't know. Yeah, there's a, there's I, you can't tell. Uh, very apparent. Uh, that it so is. if you're up 50 and it's the fourth quarter, do you uh-huh. put your starters in? No. Okay. I, just should have, should I mean, unless you want your ass kicked by the other coach, which, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm down but, with that. But I, I, I don't know. I, the but, first time I'd fall with anybody. Maybe it, <laughs> there's right. Maybe this is deja vu. The views vu. of this show are not the, the views, views are, of that, that view is my view. Still. Okay. That is Rest the assured, views of the coach. Rest assured, if, you press, if you're up 50 and you put uh. your starters in, I don't care if you're watching or not, and you play my team, I will fight you after the game. <laughs> <laughs> you heard Whoa. it here. You heard it here. Done deal. Yeah. I will find you. We will fight. <laughs> can we – We could, dude, we can – do a fundraiser. We can get a, a cage match. <laughs> it would not, cage it match. Would not be the, old bar, right? It would not be the first the time Hulk I got Hogan my ass beat if they're bigger, but that's okay. Oh, and it, I don't but, care. I go, I, but tell me, do you, you've been coaching. We've all been coaching. I mean, we probably have 50-plus years mm-hmm. of experience in multiple sports. You have to under, You can't tell me they don't know. Mm-hmm. You cannot tell me that the, everybody around here does not well, I, Coach Winkler says some don't know. Some don't, you don't know. You, the, you the, problem, the problem with some doesn't know is, and here, here's, here's the other thing that I go back to. Well, it's been done to me in the past. I'm getting back at that coach. Mm-hmm. Well, here, let me tell you something. 
You're getting back at that coach. Mm -hmm. You're not getting back at that coach. You're getting back at those kids that he has now. I agree with that. And I think I have a bigger problem with that. You know, I could have, I could do that to a lot of teams. Um, you know, uh, and I've had it done to me, and I, and that burns me the wrong way. But at the same time, I'm not going to do that just because that same coach ran the score up on me six years ago when I wasn't very good. But all of a sudden, I've got talent. I'm not going to do that because those kids had nothing to do with that. That's why you address the coach. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Don't take it out on your kids. I don't, I don't want to do that. And and but there is some coaches that do. And I think that's the common thing about that. It, it's a bigger problem now than than before was. Yeah. Is that yeah, I think it's it's very difficult. Uh, I think that ah, you yeah. don't want me to comment on this. I'm gonna <laughs> hey, it up. I, I, I'll comment. Hey, if it's six, seven, eight years running, I'm gonna do it one time. Because they got six, seven, eight years coming. Yeah, one time. That's it. Okay. And with that, we will take a break. You're watching the Coach's Box. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. For fine Mexican cuisine. A family atmosphere. Any place to watch your local sport teams. Come out to La Pechangas. Check out our four locations. Arnold, Herculaneum, Crystal City, and One Fair. Come out to La Pechanga! Hi, I'm Lawrence Krodinger with Home by SMCI. Whether it's residential or commercial, we have the right products for you. Global Plasma Solutions will attack your bacteria, mold, viruses, even help dust in your house. They install easily less than 45 minutes and it's invaluable for the rest of your life. If you're interested in any of the products that we do offer, give us a call at 636-337-4444 or send us an email at service at homebysmci.com. Dr. Craig Rubel is an orthopedic surgeon and fellowship trained sports medicine specialist who cares for all athletes of all ages performing total joint replacements, knee and shoulder arthroscopies, and general orthopedic procedures such as fracture treatment and corporal tunnel releases. Visit rubelortho.com or call 636-933-7400. Jefferson College has affordable degree options for students of all ages. Plus, the quality of education rivals any four-year university, and designated classes are guaranteed to transfer. Jefferson College provides safe on-site and online options and many exciting career pathways like humanities, business, social science, and public service, math, physics, and technology, and science and health. Students who know, go Jeffco. Enroll now at jeffco.edu. Hi, this is Coach Riley Blair from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Jarvis from the Herculean Black Cats. Hi, this is Coach Zach McVeigh with the Jefferson Lady Blue Jays. Hi, I'm Chris Miller from St. Pius X High School. And you're watching the Coach's Box. And you are watching the Coach's Box. On Livestream STL. On Livestream STL. And we are back with round two here. We're going to have to make this kind of a short one because uh, our friends here at La Pachanga, they're going to be kicking us out here in the next 15 minutes or so. Um, they're going to go home a little early, and they deserve to go home a little early. So uh, we're going to try to wrap this up. Um, guys, have we decided if we're going to do trivia or not? No trivia. I <laughs> and here's the I answer think, first. I have a microphone, so I, you will I, listen to I, every I, word I have to say. I think, I think if there's no trivia, then Ray takes the cup home with him. That's fine. Hey, you know, I kind of like that idea. Do I get to take it? Man, you finally we, win one. And I they're all No, I'm talking know, about right? these. You're you're talking about two. Salty. You're I know, that's two. what I'm saying. And don't salty. even get me started about the last And they're both show. rigged. <laughs> and they're both rigged. The last There's show, the rules. It's like Speaking of rigged. Whose line is it anyway where the, where the rules and the score don't matter? <laughs> right. Well, I just hear he take it. Speaking of them. It's around the horn. Hey. All right, Woody. Whatever. Mute button. Well, then, hey, let's talk about Super Bowl then. What about uh, it? Next show. Should well, we talk about I mean, the Super Bowl? 
Hey, what I happens? mean, I don't think here's, all these Chiefs fans want to well, hear about it. Well, here's my question, and I'll pose that all of you guys. Put yes, your, he's the best all time. All I'm right. sorry. Go ahead. No, it wasn't. Put your GM hat on. Yep. So, you saw Chiefs and Bucks. Yep. You have a draft coming up. What is more important after watching the Super Bowl? What is more important for you to build your your team, your program going forward? Are you going to like they're predicting in, in the mock draft? You're going to take a quarterback, or are you going to try and build and maybe build a offensive line? I mean, if you can have the best offensive line in football mm-hmm. and nobody back there who can throw the ball, it really doesn't matter. But, nah, let's think about it though. You go Manning. You look at Breeze. You look yeah. at if you're talking about athletes, Manning yeah. wasn't going to wow you. Brady, look at Brady. He didn't have any of the wow factor. He wasn't a comes. top guy coming out. No, oh, sorry. Uh-uh. you have that it factor. But I, to me, I'm not going to take a, a flash in the pan athlete. I'm going to try and build in the trenches because whether it's high school, college, well, pros. Let's turn it back a little bit. Yeah, what the Rams do? They took Orlando Pace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there you, you want to talk about? I mean, they mm-hmm. weren't. Dallas, I mean, had, when they were competitive, wait, they had the best line. The, the best chefs O-line. took Fisher, number one overall. They, they that was that that was a big piece to lose. I know that's for what the I'm Super saying. Their, and, their whole O line. And, and by the way, Kevin Howley wanted me to share something with you guys that, about about uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, listen, the guy played his absolute tail off. Mm-hmm. Huh. Are you talking about how many yards? yards total real? yards. Oh total yards. I can't pull up because it's one of but anyway, it totally, like totally yards, almost, 475 yeah. Nice. Yeah. yards that he actually just ran around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dave Crump says, go Chiefs. Yeah, well. well. Yeah, you did a, You, I think you were the bad luck charm. But oh! <laughs> <laughs> bad luck guy. Yeah, we love you, Dave. That. Well. But, no, they, they can use What are we going to get the Crumper on? Well, Crumper has to be on a show yeah. at some point. <laughs> we need to bring him on and just We're drill good. him. Just we drilling. 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 I, I, we could talk about this yeah. kind of this yeah. topic maybe um, yeah. because he, I mean, he's very knowledgeable to football yeah. for sure. Hundred percent good. I, I don't know. I just I, like I said, we've talked about this over over the weeks. I have to get a bigger headset. He's got a big head. <laughs> All right, Jughead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, talking mad about my right? assistant coach That's here. That's right. They'll Man. stretch. I don't know. I'm I'm not going to look for all this highlight reel athleticism. <laughs> I want to look. I want to look up for the intangibles. I want to try and build. So you're uh, drafting you know, someone from Alabama. O line. <laughs> if I'm drafting somebody from Alabama, that means I've got a top five pick. Mm, obviously, <laughs> just saying. Hot. You would. Think. I mean, it's it's hard to argue either way. You go line or you go quarterback. I mean, but if you have the number one pick right now, mm-hmm. I mean, you're, Trevor ta- Lawrence. You're, you're taking Trevor Lawrence. You have to be. I, I Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, but what about two, three, four? I mean, they're talking four QBs in the first. Four I wouldn't draft. No, no, I'm not. Dra- I'm not. Trevor Lawrence is guys. the only guy. Yes, in my opinion, yeah. right. I, I wouldn't draft in those. Other I wouldn't guys. draft the other guys until no. I just had to. I, if uh-huh. I, I'd be, I'm going to build on the line. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you can see that it's kind of important. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes is the the best, mm-hmm. most athletic quarterback in the NFL, mm-hmm. and he looked like a man running scared. It was shades of Fran Tarkenton being chased by everybody mm-hmm. on the field, mm-hmm. and then still, I mean, he he made he made plays, and guys just didn't catch mm-hmm. the ball. Right. So, yeah, I'd say an offensive line would, would have probably really helped. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, he was drafted well, I, 15th overall. And you have – you also have – they got a guy that went to do, fight COVID. That yeah. was one of they, – they got four guys out. It isn't like they didn't draft or get right. guys. Yeah. I mean, so but, – But it shows the importance. Of, oh, you have yeah. the best quarterback – and nobody and to protect him. And, and you pulled depth. some guys out of your practice squad and off the street mm-hmm. to say, hey, you are, you're big, you're a bouncer, do you want to help guard our quarterback? And dude's like, no, <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> but, you know, I think it makes a perfect sense of seeing how important that position is. Just, yeah. it, no matter if you have the best quarterback back there or – or Dude, the worst fr- quarterback in the league in back there. Your front if seven you on both sides of the ball are the most – I mean, your 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 uh, line and – your uh, O-line and your D-line are probably two of the biggest assets you have to have on a football team. Well, I think that changes changes the whole game. Mm-hmm. Completely whole changes I mean, the whole think game. Think about pass rushers. Think about how the game has changed. And you've got to have guys up front but that can pa- the rush the passer. Mm-hmm. 
if you got four guys that can rush the passer, you can drop more guys in the coverage. Yep. And the Giants did that to the Patriots twice. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you just saw the Bucks do it. Well, I was going to say, that's, there it is. that's exactly what Tampa did. I mean, yep. Well, yeah, you got they Sue, didn't... you got all them guys, and just, yeah. They're happy for Indomitian Sue. You go from stomping a dude. In the face. <laughs> now you get to win yeah, a Super Bowl. He's kicked a couple people. Out. I mean, yeah. He's a dirty dude, man. Yeah. That's good. I was happy for him. Uh, he was pretty quiet. But yeah. He's been pretty quiet all season long. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Well, and I think that's the Brady effect. I mean, they were talking Brady about effect the, is... the, the leadership qualities that he – Listen, he got Antonio Brown to stop being Antonio Brown. Yeah. 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 Agreed. I'm just saying. Like, he, he did took, the first time around. What, I mean, well, yeah, but he, how much control who else can he do really that? Have? Hey, that was yeah. already done before he got there. Yeah. Before he got to New England, and Tom's like, look, dude, I'm going to give you a second chance. Yeah. You're going to live in my house, and you're going to have to do all this. Probably gave him a curfew. Told him, had to put him in bed. Here's your bedtime story. Right. You know, you get to go. I need to go get up to go to pee. Probably. That's all right. Here he goes. The bottle. It worked. Stay in bed. Don't do anything. Here's your antidepressants. Here's, a, <laughs> here's, your, yeah. you know, Here, here's right. a question. Who, who else could do that besides Tom Brady over the years? Who else could do that? What, Manning. Peyton Manning Maybe. probably Manning did. doesn't have that personality, though. Uh, I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, just, I don't know. Johnny Unitas. I think Montana had a little. Montana bit could probably do that. Yeah. I think Kurt Warner could have. Could mm-hmm. Kurt Warner maybe? Kurt Warner could later in his career. Yeah, yeah, yeah later. later. Kurt was a little softy though. Yep. Um, for sure, early in his career, he would at least he got a little bit. Hard. He got a little bit more once he yeah. came to the Rams. Um, from when, when he's earlier, like before he was in the NFL. I mean, he was real soft. Yeah. Favre, he, he'll even Favre, say would that. Would he do that? Far do that. Uh, he's gunslinger. He was he was the guy that you, you know, know you know act you, you keep acting up. I'm just gonna arm wrestle you down here like yeah. a little steer. You know that's kind of, that kind of guy. Uh, uh, Roger Stallback might have done that. Well, yeah, Roger. St- now you're you're, you're yeah, showing well, your age. Whoa, whoa, right. whoa. So, hey, Dude, hooked me. I said Johnny me. Unitas, and that's way before my my time. Johnny Unitas was probably one of those I, John Wayner kind of guys. You know, I mean, it, it's just, I mean, that just shows you the effect. That Tom Brady has I agree. on people, mm-hmm. and I you can say what you want. I don't care. Talk about deflating footballs. You can talk about all the cheating in New England. It just shows you that he can go to another team, and they went from four wins to the Super Bowl. So I don't know. You, do I you, think let's just put that put that one to bed. Do you think you don't have to like him? Do you think it was Tom Brady? What that did all that stuff, or was it somebody? Well, definitely else? the GM, because what everybody the score. Wait a minute, are you talking about the cheating? And stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. every every oh, I thought every he was going to total. Wait, right. <laughs> no. I thought you were. I thought he was going. Well, for the obviously the, the Belichick thing is. <laughs> it, it, you can say what you want. They, they all try it. You can't. They're deflating footballs. They all doctor the footballs. They, I've been over this a thousand yeah. times. It's just like Great. baseball. It's yeah. just like baseball. Do they all, do they all take people's that. practices? That's probably That's a, a Belichick. Belichick. That's you think Tom Brady, Brady Tom was Brady? running a no. camcorder or something? Oh, I'm sure Tom Brady been. wasn't upset, though, when he knew what they were going to do. If your coach Katie said, listen, look at all this film that I got. There's some stuff that nobody's seen. You'd be like, <laughs> okay, coach, let's watch it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You'd be all for it. Anything <laughs> I, you could do. Because you know what? It's like, I ain't going to control if this thing comes out. It's yeah. going to be this guy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch it. Here, here's what I'll say about Tampa. Tampa didn't just bring Tom Brady in there and say, okay, here's what I got for you. Here's who you have. Mm-hmm. Go win with them. He brought. They brought some other people along yeah. with him. Well, that yeah. sounds like that's pretty well, intelligent. Uh, a lot of the people they brought with them were because Tom Brady. Exactly was there. right. I mean, you exactly. got Leonard Fournette, mm-hmm. Gronk. You got all these A-B-A-B. guys that want to be there. Mm-hmm. Correct. They. I mean, if he went and went to another team next year, mm-hmm. he can oh. say, do, 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 mm-hmm. and all these. I he mean, gets Gronk doesn't have a contract. These guys would go right with him again. Mm-hmm. Same thing in basketball. You talk about, you know, they talk about building the super teams in basketball. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it's not. It's no different. Anybody yeah. see the, uh, the the new picture of him in a Dallas Cowboys uniform? That's the only way you can get him <laughs> not win a ring. That's all who's, that. Who's my brother talking about? How about McCoy getting back to back Super Bowl rings? Colt McCoy. Without? Yeah. Colt. Oh, Colt McCoy. Okay. Colt McCoy. Uh, uh, yeah. So, hey. Backup quarterback is one of the best jobs in the NFL. Blaine Gabbert got one too, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Blaine Gabbert yeah. got yeah, one this man. year. How about that. It is what it is, man. Good for him. Um, but no, I mean that's that's what you got to do, G- mm-hmm. general manager. Now, if I'm the Texans right now, I'm kind of in a little bit of a. <laughs> yeah, but I'm doing I'm doing what do. the Texans are doing. I'm telling them, hey, he's I don't our, he's I don't our quarterback. Know, I don't know enough about the situation, but I'm going to ask you, why is firing the equipment manager necessary? I, well, I don't know about because the doctor know. the balls good enough. I don't. I, I, don't I mean, at, <laughs> you're going to say he's your quarterback? Great. He's under contract. That's what I'm saying. They're all under contract. He can hold out. Great. Go ahead. 
I mean, not go use your college degree if you finish it. college and go he do whatever that is. Okay, yeah. well then you know what? Take your take your bonus. Go finish your degree. Go do something else. He you're under it. con. You're under contract. You're going to play. If not, sorry, you're out money. Wait, I don't wait, feel we, sorry we, for you. We've, we've empowered these quarterbacks and all these athletes to think that they can just say, oh, I don't want to do this. Then but, don't. Well, don't I, mean, I mean, look, look, look LeBron, make, LeBron makes all the moves for his team. I don't care what anybody says. Right. You can say what you say about Brady. Brady goes, hey, listen, I need some help if this mm-hmm. is the roster. All these guys who come in, they get to say those things. Sure they do. The Shaw McCoy, not Colt McCoy. Yeah, so not it's the running back. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's what I thought. I thought I, it was Colt. Oh, mm-hmm. where's Colt? playing now. I don't Maybe know. Redskins. Oh, he's Red. Uh, uh, Washington football team. Yeah. Right, yeah. Formerly no, known as the Redskins. No, they just signed their backup dude or whatever. Yeah, to, Battle Hawks. Yeah. yeah. Coast no, no, not Battle Hawks. I'm talking about the Washington. Was that guy from Battle Hawks? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize talking that. Talking about Tiamu? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that isn't who they just signed, though. They signed somebody today. Oh, uh, the, be- the guy that played in a couple of their games and played really well at quarterback. He's number four. I thought he was former Battle Hawk. No, it's anyway. different. Anyway. I don't know. Back to accounts in life. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, and like I said, I don't know. I, I don't know enough of the situation. But all I know is, as an owner, and it's my money because I'm the owner. You sign a contract, honor your contract. If you talk about I mean, building culture, then honor your contract. I mean, people can go back on their word. I'm hey, then you know. I'm then, just saying. Then shocking when you don't get paid and when you sit out and you lose. Millions of, of dollars in your game checks. Millions of dollars. Heineke. Mm-hmm. Heineke. I've, I've drank Taylor, one of those before. Taylor Heineke or whatever. Yeah. Heineke. Yeah. Heineke. Heineke yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, Heineken. I'm sure, I'm sure like without a doubt, J.J. Watt probably wants out. If I'm J.J. Watt, I, I want to leave. But have hey. you heard anything from him about, uh, I, I, no, because he's, I, I would say if you look at him and the things that he does and the things that he does for whether it's the organization or whatnot, he seems like a very honorable guy. He's going to see, he's probably thinking, I want out. I might talk to my agent, but you know what? I'm here. I've signed a contract. I'm going to honor it. When I'm up and I'm a free agent, then I'm going. You know, Russell mm-hmm. Wilson said, dude, I've been hit more than anybody else mm-hmm. in NFL history for mm-hmm. the last eight years. Mm-hmm. Please, for the love of God, give me some offensive linemen. Yeah. He yeah. came out and said that on the Dan Patrick show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's kind of playing GM right there. That's How do you fine. handle that? Perfectly fine. You okay with that? If I, yeah. I mean, ask you, you, he's you, not saying I'm going to quit and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my ball and go home. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's, yeah. Not, he's not on a boat somewhere? No. No. Oh. <laughs> not with Tom Brady throwing the Super Bowl trophy? No. No. I saw that was, that. man. Great. Talk about epic, epic party or epic parade. That's kind of cool. That all the boats. Yep. That's, that's what you do, man. <laughs> that's what you do. That's what you during do during COVID. What you do during COVID? You're in Florida. <laughs> Tom Brady. He's like, dude, if you drop it, I got six more. <laughs> I was gonna go. Hey, Bill. Bill, I need to borrow one of those. <laughs> oh, or my. Gronk. He could spike it again. I guess. <laughs> Oh, man. It's like I just have another one of those made. Yeah. How about Gronk getting out of sprints and stuff by taping himself all in the same day? <laughs> Smart. With the different, different shirts shirt on. on. Yeah. Smart. Hey. Crump says, what a moron. Uh, Who? Gronkowski? Uh, Gronkowski's like the smartest dude. He retires for a year. He gets uh, his body healthy. Yeah. He didn't miss a single game. Nope. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, he comes out and says that he had more fun this year than he's mm-hmm. ever had playing football. That kind of tells you a little bit about the culture in New England. But yep. at the same time, hey, the winning's proof in six years. Well, but I, it, it, I, I, I was I, happy for him. I'm going to say he outperformed Kelsey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we sure had two he touchdown catches. No. Sure he did. And you know what? He's an underrated blocker. Mm. He is a hell, he's a hell of a blocker. Oh, he's calling Brady the moron. Why? Why? Seven Super Bowls. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Got more than now, both. This is totally off the subject, but did you, did you hear uh, Robert Horry and his his tweet that he made? He said, hey, welcome to the seven-time championship club. Oh, that's And all awesome. the backlash he's getting. Yeah. Oh, Why yeah. is he getting? Well, because, because he. Big shot Horry, man. I know, I know. Big shot yeah, Bob. But, but I know. But How many times did he hit big shots I to know, help his teams win? Not exactly Brady, though. No, he's not exactly Brady. What are we in such a hurry for? We get, we got to wrap it up. It's nine oh, o'clock. Oh, I don't think he'll. Time. He, I don't think he's gonna care. He's got maybe, customers still. Maybe here we too, just, maybe there. we just go Facebook Live and have an after show. <laughs> maybe we <could> do that. <laughs> we're on the icy CB roads after hours. Yeah. <laughs> after roads. hours. He's I saying well. throwing that trophy from boat to boat. Crumps. Oh kidding. well. He does. Well. He do. He can do whatever he wants. He's the goat. Hey, when your guy gets to be the goat someday, <laughs> he can do whatever the hell he wants to do. He is uh, the goat. I mean, I don't like him. Yes, Scott, we did throw talk about Mahomes and basically 
looking like Superman, making all oh, the passes. one he was parallel uh-huh. and, and and just and it hit the guy in hands. Oh, yeah. and it hurt the guy it's in the hit, face hits mask. Hits him right in the uh, face mask. It's like, dude, I can't yeah, get any phenomenal. Better than mm-hmm. I mean, if there was a way he could have been MVP, I'd say he would have been. But you know, did, didn't throw three touchdowns. What passes. do you think? So, so going off this before we have to get kicked out of here, I guess. Uh, I just you think know, Ray's kicking us out. But, but we got we got to. <laughs> we were told. We, we were gotta, told they're leaving. We got to talk about the uh, the weather impacting next week's high school sports districts starting out. I'll see you guys weather. in a couple weeks come district tournament time because uh, we're going to be snowed in. They, they're saying <laughs> next week that we could get anywhere from. Uh, Are you saying four to eight inches of snow? That's what they said. Three Where'd you get your weather? Weather, from? weather, 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 channel. weather channel doesn't know anything. Meteorologists can do like be right twenty percent of the time. So pretty much. Here, here's my question. Not even that. Let's say that. We don't. There's no games played this week. Yeah. Let's just hypothetically say, yeah, and then we're moving into next no week. No games played next week. No games next week. This week. And district starts Sunday, yeah. Saturday. Okay. Sounds like being on COVID. Be so on quarantine. Right. Sounds like. How do you? Can, how can you think and imagine that you're never going to practice all the way up to? Because <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going <laughs> to go and take a damn tractor, and I'm going to pile a freaking road to it. I will pick up my kids, and we're going to have practice. Uh, practice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we going to pra- wait, wait that long to, pr- to play hey, practice, practice? Play a game? Practice. You're right. out of your damn. Of mine. <laughs> Two weeks. Are you, hey, I'm not what a kind of weight uh, loss stuff are you taking right now? Because you're out of your damn mind. We're going to practice. Hey, and we are practicing. If practice. They, if they say you can't go to practice, go to the Y. Why are you going go to, to the, the, the freaking Y. <laughs> on, we will have practice. Get on your toboggan. Oh, hey, get on your toboggan. Uh, if any of my so kids are watching my show, private school. Oh, you know what? Private private school. School. Care about your education? We're going to have virtual day and we're going to have practice. You can, wow. you can draw your math homework. You know, you can, hey, you can, hey, there's no advantage. <laughs> but how? Hey, uh, no advantage. Wait, my kids have touched the basketball since Friday. What, what, no advantage of what? Go, hey, go plow your own road and take them. So, take them so, to the Y. So my question is, what if that happens? happens? What? And you... Have to you haven't played all this week? <laughs> Don't play all next week, okay. and your districts start on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're going to be ready. Guess to go you're going to play districts. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how ugly some of those basketball games are? Well, going they're to already be? ugly from the COVID stuff this, oh, this oh, year. I mean, my. we sat out a month and came back, <laughs> and it was one it ugly, was game. ugly basketball. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. So, hey, uh, so what he's saying is on the Cincinnati. On the Cincinnati. Exactly the same. <laughs> on the Cincinnati. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, Hey, we're no, going to practice. Hey, it's no worse than watching Duke in Kentucky right now. Nah. Oh. Oh. And Duke's my team. Especially wow. Kentucky. Duke, hey. the, Duke, you're going to make the tournament? No. Here's so what hey, I'll tell Kentucky you. Kentucky going to make yeah. the tournament. Is right now? I bet they do. I don't want to know. Yeah. Here's what I'll tell you about Kentucky. I bet they do. Kentucky. Both we didn't even do. talk about no. Missouri. Let's look at Kentucky and say that – in all of their games they've lost, only one of them has been less than six points. They still lost the points. game. But here's what I'm telling you. It's like we were so close. Think about tournament time, uh, SEC tournament. What about? Mark my words, they'll be in a championship game. Who? Side tournament. bet on this? Who? Yeah. Kentucky. You know, I tell you why. predictions? I, I tell you why. is because <laughs> they're going to they're get games in. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get games it's in. going to be rigged. Tournament. Oh, no. They're, they're, hey, Did you they're, see not, there? they're not even going to make the semifinals. Well, they're going to be in the tournament. You're crazy. <laughs> no, they won't. Uh, you, you know the they're going to make tournament? No. You see if they don't win the forward? SEC tournament, they will not be in the tournament. <laughs> All right, I'll make you two bets. Oh, God. I'll make you two bets. Who hey, won't be who? in the tournament? I'm going to say. will not be in the NCAA uh, tournament. Or the NIT. If they do oh, not win. The down 42-37. If they okay. do not win the SEC tournament, they will not be in the NIT or the they won't even have the NIT. Nah, they will just be NIT. March Madness. I think you're probably right. Yeah, yep. probably right. But I have a site. I'm, I'm going to tell you right Zoo's now. Down five and a half. Yep. That's right. Not no. Half. All right. No. Should we wrap up? Yeah. Because yeah, you're telling no. we have to playing the music. Well, they got uh, well I'm trying to. Everybody's <laughs> see this, honor their request. When, when we're doing games, this is easy out. I mean, this is just an absolute 100 percent easy. As soon as I play the music, it's time about to go to commercial. This. It's time to go to commercial. <laughs> So we've been on there it is. music for five minutes. <laughs> I know because I you guys it. keep yapping. Well, it's it's the we're calling it's it like, like the we viewers see it. want all there eighteen of them. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> exactly. There you have it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being with us tonight for the coach's box, and we appreciate it again. Um, we will try to keep you guys um, uh, as much uh, informed as possible for upcoming basketball games and whatnot. And uh, we will be covering, uh, let me find it here, February Madness for us here for Misha Playoffs. We will be covering the uh, Misha Playoffs. So uh, make sure uh, you tune in to Livestream STL and when we have those particular games. 
and we're going to wrap it up here. You are watching the Coach's Box. Thanks so much for being with us. Have a great evening.